cover comic review uh, once again this is my version of the review so I like to show off the price the contents the page and the packaging this is a book I've been really looking forward to and I think it's really funny that Punisher Max Omnibus and the X-Men Wolverine Omnibus come out on the same day so I have to spend tons of money when there's been nothing for months so sorry about that but here we go Punisher Max by Jason Aaron and Steve Dillon I read most of this except for the last issues you can tell it's kind of a thinner omnibus, but it also contains less issues. There's only 23 issues in here as composed, compared to the bigger omnibuses, which have up to 40. I think the X-Men one we just looked at has 40 issues in it. And that's where it comes in whack, because this one is the same price, which I think kind of sucks. This one should have been 75 bucks, but whatever. I wanted it. I'm a brat. I got it. So, sorry if you think this is show and tell. That's not what I intend it to be. I intend it, you know, for other things. Mostly so people can check out a really awesome comic without having to spend a bunch of money on it to see if you dig it. It's kind of a wrinkle here, which sucks, but hey, can you do? It's again, nice printed cover. We'll get to that in a second. Because I always want to show off the slipcase. There's this stupid wrinkle. But, you know, you only pay $100 for something. It comes wrinkled and it's great. Moving on, not to be negative. Show you the inside slip cover. Get the information. If you pause that, you can read it. Because I do render this in high definition. So it seems like something stupid and fast to people that aren't paying attention. But it really is just so you can read that without having to spend a fortune on a book you might not dig. So there's the slip cover in all its beautiful glory. It's by Jason Aaron and Steve Dillon, if I didn't already say that. And once again, just like with Wolverine and the X Men, on this a nice and not glossy printed cover. That's great. Uh, you get a lot from that. No, for real. Like, that's awesome. And just to point out why I don't do commentary to my book reviews, because the phone ringing just now really sucked. Totally interrupted me, but whatever. But that's part of the reason. So here, let's crack this sucker open. Flip the pages so it doesn't fall apart. And check this thing out. It's all Steve Dillon artwork, so you know it's all going to be beautiful, at least to me. Contains the entire storyline. Punisher's appearing in Thunderbolts right now, which is really kind of cool and fun. Check out the page thickness. Hmm. About like every other book, it doesn't seem that thin to me. But, it could just be me. Needless to say, there might be spoilers in these book reviews if you're watching them, because I am flipping through the book, so if you haven't read it, you know, stop it before I get near the end pages. Don't know how to gauge that, but I love Steve Dillon's simplistic artwork. Even though if he tried to draw that way, it's totally not simple at all and really probably harder than people that can cover up their lines with a bunch of cross hatching and stuff. I did read most of these issues when they came out, but once again, didn't finish it off, so I'm looking forward to finishing it. I know how it ends, but I'm not going to ruin that here for you. Sorry if this comes across as show and tell. Oops. Totally ruined it. Hope everybody skipped that. Or knowing how long people watch these videos. They probably didn't watch it all the way through, so they probably skipped that. That's kind of cool, too. Well, not really cool that you skipped it, but... Here's the script from Ennis. Ah, beautiful. And once again... Another hardcover comic review by Chris. Sorry we got interrupted with a phone call, but that's what happens when you do commentary at home, I guess. 
there's that, there's that, and as always, I really appreciate you checking out my videos. Sincerely appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Comment and subscribe.